Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. I know when you saw the title and thumbnail, your initial thought might be... Beastars is a show where the clips garner a lot of attention, but there really isn't that much actual discussion around it. Most people would steer clear of this show in fear of being labelled a fairy. But I'm here to change your mind as to why Beastars is such an amazing show, and why you should stop being a beta cuck and find out why it's good enough for a second season. Following the success of shows like One Piece, One Punch Man, and Psycho Pass, what really helps with Beastars' uniqueness, other than the fact that the characters are anthropomorphic, is the world building. You get to see how their world is structured, the divide in races and species, how it impacts their day-to-day -day lives, how the characters are forced to adapt to live in an inclusive society, while still trying to cater to the needs of the majority, and what solutions have been put in place to ensure that there isn't absolute chaos. What I absolutely love about this show is that whilst the characters have their own unique and distinct personalities, what sets them apart from any other show is the heavy influence of what carries with being an animal and the struggles they experience because of it. There's a distinct divide between the herbivores and carnivores, and the dynamics between them is reminiscent of the clash of races that we see in reality. The constant tension between each other, the fear, preconceived assumptions and stereotypes they have of one another, it blends into a very realistic and humanistic environment where there is a mix of nature's survival of the fittest, but added with a human element of emotions. We have carnivores finding ways to deal with the animalistic instinct or desire of meat and blood, a rabbit's prolific and promiscuous nature, the mayor being a lion as the king of the jungle, a bear who finds solace in honey, a chicken who looks to donate her eggs to make some extra cash as a side job. All of these nuanced and hilarious tropes of animals intertwined with the conflict and struggles of being an adolescent surviving through high school. Most shows that star animals in them are mainly used as pets or characters used to deliver punchlines. But in this show, being an animal and what it means to be that specific type of animal is what really helps push the narrative and drive the story. In contrast with human aspects, it's hard enough for an adolescent to find themselves through high school discover their own identity and their own struggles with relationships, either platonic or romantic, or whilst uncovering the mysteries of their own universe. The realism in battling with anxiety, feelings of loneliness, prejudice, and politics is what helps add to the differentiating factor of the human element. I think what's really executed well here is just the raw emotions that you put on display. The fragility and innocence of a young teen who has never experienced what love is, how they can communicate that love, and what it means to express what that love is. We see our main character, Legoshi, who is portrayed as a lone wolf throughout this series as he attempts to bridge this tension between himself and the herbivores. He admires and respects our supporting character, Lewis, who is the head actor of their high school and upcoming candidate to be the next Beast star. These two are amazingly written characters where we have an ironically dominant and aggressive herbivore who stands as a role model and stands in the spotlight for their society. In comparison to our modest, shy, and lonely Grey Wolf, who slowly learns to take things into his own hands. As Legoshi learns more about himself and the way he should approach the prejudices that exist in this world, we, as the audience, learn alongside him and follow him on this journey of self-discovery. It's ironic that in their universe, this herbivore is the most popular in their school, whereas our main character, being a carnivore, has a small and modest group of friends. This comparison is great, as animals such as deers are a wolf's primary food source, but you never really experience that type of tension between Legoshi and Lewis. For a show centred around animals and the struggles of the high school experience, there are also some incredibly mature themes involved for these characters to fight against. The hierarchical structure that's put in place, who are the leaders in the shadows, and the dark avenues the carnivores take in order to deal with their natural instincts. What's also interesting is that we know the backstory of two of the other supporting characters that are shown in the show but we don't actually know the backstory of our own protagonist. That sense of mystery and aimless wonder of Legoshi's character is what helps drive this narrative. The cinematography is some of the best that I've ever seen in a long time. From the somber lighting, the changing art styles, the visual effects and differing perspectives, you can tell Orange have put an immense amount of time, effort and love into their craft and it's turned out beautifully. You're able to see different camera angles, close-ups, third-person, silhouettes, all encompassing a different range of styles and techniques. The artwork in the opening and the ending songs are so unique and vibrant, and it just shows the artistic diversification this show has to offer. And another reason why I find this show so alluring is actually Legoshi's voice actor. 
誰だ肉食とこんなに仲が良くなるなんて肉食獣にも悩みがあるなんて知らなかったルイ先輩も共存共栄って言ってたし His voice is smooth and deep, yet slow and crisp for you to hear. Even if you aren't the biggest fan of the storyline, just the visuals alone are able to draw you in. I think, especially when blended with the music and voice acting, it alludes to the somber, gloomy, yet hopeful feeling the characters feel. But in turn, it also has one of the best opening songs I've heard, as it has French, English, and Japanese lyrics. The soundtrack is so beautiful and soulful, it elicits feelings of reminiscence that I think will attract to a lot of people. If you like lo fi, if you like hip hop, if you like jazz, this will be your jam. There's so much to like about this show, and so much variety to the genre that it'll really make you wonder how something like this is so criminally underrated. It has a lot more depth to it than meets the eye, and I think that the characters being animals actually helps add to the story, rather than detract it. The story itself, the relationships, the dynamics, the world building, the diversity, the character development, and ultimately the art styles. There's just so much to love, and we've barely scratched the surface with so much more content to cover. Give this show a chance. I think it'll really exceed your expectations.